So today, uh, just a deadlift day. I started with just regular deadlifts on the floor. Uh, did, I guess that's one thing too. I can't be too upset with my top set because I did five sets of two at 660. Um, so getting a little bit of volume in. And then I was supposed to work up to a single, keeping it under about 93% of my raw pull. So worked up to a 745. A little slow at lockout, but I mean, just getting the work put in. And then now we're doing car deadlift because my next competition has car deadlift for reps. So competition is supposed to be 750 for reps. Uh, it's a decent weight. Um, it'll be a rep fest because Fred will he'll go double digits for sure. Wes. Joey, Wes, <laughs> myself. Yeah, so I did cut it out in the last video. Um, you announcing your next show. I think I did it by accident. But uh, do you want to tell the viewers what yeah, your next... Yeah, so my next competition is in uh, four weeks from today, I think. Out in, and our fights are booked, so we're going to New Brunswick. We're going out east. There's uh, like a winter festival going on in the town of Shippigan. Uh, Sam and Max invited me out to compete. It's, uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's Canadian Viking. It's, it's a, a Viking thing. competition. Um, it's outside in the winter, looking to get a gold trophy for my birthday for a present. Yeah. Well, so hopefully Joey, if you'll just let me get gold for my birthday, I'd really appreciate it. And Wes. And Wes. And Fred. And Fred. <laughs> and everyone else. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're excited to go out east. It's always nice to be new competitors, making new friends, making new memories. I've been to Moncton before. I spent a month out there for work, but Keelan's never been out that far east, so she's out for a, she's in for a treat by. Are we gonna go to the rocks? We might, if we can, we'll try to go to the Hopewell Rocks and the Bay of Fundy, so that's pretty cool. We'll see. The Bay of Fundy's pretty cool. that was awkward <laughs> um, anyways thank you so much for watching the video thus far James and I really appreciate it and I would just like to throw out there if you are not subscribed that you consider subscribing to our channel we put out weekly strongman strength content and we have a lot in store for this coming year obviously the more subscribers that we get on our channel the quicker we can get to becoming monetized, which is one of my big goals this year for our channel. And with that, we can put out more content, we can go to more shows, um, and yeah, we can, we can just put more content out to our lovely viewers. So, that's all I wanted to say. Back to the video. So I bought this Rogue Anvil at, uh, at Rogue headquarters when I was in uh, Columbus. Columbus, Ohio last year for the Arnolds. And uh, this year there was a grip competition, I think it was called like Grip of War or War Grips or something, where uh, someone set a new world record with the anvil, Rogue Anvil specifically, and they held it for like 60 or 62 seconds at 50 kilograms. So uh, I have a pretty good little big mine or little big horn lift, um, but I've never tested it for time. So today we're just gonna mess around and see if uh, 
I could maybe set a new world record unofficially. Okay. So I'll just show. Hold on. Keep holding. Yep. Come on. Oh, I think that was pretty close. I'm pretty close. I think that was close. It's like yeah. I was trying to come in my head, but I know, me too. How'd that feel? It's hard because it like starts shaking at like know. thirty sessions. That's all right. That's something to work towards. So you I mean, didn't quite get it today? No, I was about uh, like under five seconds away with my left hand for the world record. So that's all right. I mean, I didn't didn't even like try it. I just literally put the weight on and just try to hold it. So I mean. To know I'm about five seconds away from a world record, which I mean is a lot, but I mean if a guy trains that specifically, I know even Patty will be able to make it more. But that's some fun to incorporate into training. Um, even Tristan, I'm sure Tristan could hit a pretty pretty good uh, time for this. So uh, something to work towards in this off season, maybe set an unofficial world record. I don't know. Hopefully maybe it comes up in competition. I don't know. The the row, I mean, row record breakers. Hey, if you guys are doing the max anvil. I'd for sure do it. So, fingers crossed, maybe that's one of the world record breakers this year at the Arnold. But yeah, that wraps up training today. Uh, nothing really too exciting. Did uh, volume for five sets of doubles at 660, worked up to 745 for a single, raw, and then did car deadlift. So, uh, not sure on the height that the car deadlift will be at uh, New Brunswick, but too lazy to lower today, so I just pulled up where it was. Um, worked up to some good. Top set of five, and then some back down sets to fire up the glutes. Mess around with grip. Um, tomorrow I'll go into the gym locally and do my accessories. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the new subscribers this year. We've already got a, a couple new subscribers, so that's good to see. Help grow this channel. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a very busy 2024 season, so stay tuned. Let's keep this train rolling.